In this video, I will show you how to create animated arrows using DaVinci. To create an arrow, right now I am on the edit page of DaVinci and I will start by right clicking here in the media pool and I will choose new fusion composition. I will click on create. Now I will drag this fusion composition on the timeline and then I will move to the fusion page. Here I need to insert multiple nodes on my timeline to create an arrow. So for that I will go to the effects tab and here in the search bar I will search for all the nodes I need and one by one I will insert them on the timeline. So the first node which I need is a rectangle node. I will insert this S rectangle on the timeline. The second one which I need is S N Gon. I will insert this one on the timeline now. The third one which I need is a boolean node. I will insert S boolean on the timeline. The last one which I need is a S render node. I will insert this one on the timeline. Now let me tell you the purpose of all these nodes one by one. As you know an arrow is made up of a rectangle and a triangle. So this first node will help us in making the rectangular part of the arrow. This ascengon is basically a polygon which I will later convert into a triangular part of the arrow. This boolean node will make sure that the rectangle and the triangle parts are connected together to form the arrow. If we later want to change the color and any other property of the arrow, we can do that also through this boolean node. This S render node will make the visualization of our arrow possible. So firstly, let me connect all these nodes to each other. I will connect this S and gone node and the rectangle node to the boolean node. Then I will connect this boolean node to the S render and finally S render node to the media out node. And now you will be able to visualize a shape here in the preview window. So let me firstly close the effects tab to have a better view of our preview window. Now I will firstly select this S boolean node and here in the inspector menu I will change the operation from intersection to union. Then I will go to the S and gown node and I will convert the number of sides from 6 to 3. This will convert this polygon shape into a triangle shape and you can visualize that by moving this triangular shape outside like this. Now I will adjust the size and position of both this rectangle and triangle shapes to get a perfect arrow. So with this S rectangle node selected, here in the inspector menu I will decrease the width and I will also decrease the height. Then I will select this S and gone node and now in the inspector menu I will decrease its width and I will decrease its height. So now you can see an arrow is ready. If we want to change its color we can do that by selecting the S boolean node and then we will go to style and from here we can change the color as per our liking. So our arrow is ready. Now to animate this I will go back to the edit page. Here I can animate the arrow on the basis of various parameters like zoom, position, opacity and much more. In this example I will be animating the arrow on the basis of its zoom and position value. So I will make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the video clip and I will change the value of zoom and position as per my liking. Then I will add a keyframe for both of these parameters. Now I will move the playhead a couple of frames ahead and I will again change the value of zoom and position. And just like that our animated arrow is ready. Let's preview how this looks like. So that's it for this video. If you find it useful do hit the like and subscribe button for more such videos. Thank you so much.